Greetings, beautiful people. So when people uh, do YouTube videos, um, and I always wonder, do they consider themselves teachers, guides? Um, you know, because here's the thing. Let's say if, you see, I, I'm, I make YouTube videos because I allowed myself the ability to do so. Anybody can do this. And the thing is that, um, you know, certain people want to do it, but they don't do it. They'll say, you know, um, I, I would love to make videos, but, and then there's always a but. All right, there's always a, I'm not a good speaker. There's always a, you know, I'm not a, uh, a good uh, thinker. I'm not, you know, whatever the excuses may be, all right? If you're talking and you're trying to, to do it through a space that's not coming from a space of you within, okay, then you're, you're, you're actually speaking through just the ego because the ego is the only one that's keeping you from doing what you need to do because it's afraid of you looking dumb. It's, uh, you know, keeping you in a safe spot so that people don't criticize you. Um, you know, you put your energies out there, you're going to probably get haters and stuff like that. Um, you know, somebody's teachings may not be aligned with what you say. It, it could be a plethora of things. It's all ego. See, if you come off that mental state where you know, you, you don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. You're not really operating from the ego. You're only using the ego to only make this video. Because if I was, you see, without my, my ego, which is my body, this human vessel, this meat suit that I'm wearing, or that's wearing me, actually, because again, you know, you could look at it from many different ways. All right. And, I, and I'm gonna make the, the next video on this. But if you're just speaking through the ego, okay, you could speak through it by using it as a tool but don't associate yourself with it because if you do you're in the wrong place already and you really ain't ever going to do anything in life it's not even just about making youtube videos it's just basically anything i mean this this whole thing is pretty much a game if you really look at it it's just a, a, a big stage for you to pretty much go out there and shine because you're a star now let's say for example all right, you see, whatever energy you put out is, is what you're consenting to aligning yourself to. And this is exactly what you'll actually get back. But aside from that, okay, you see, I'll never pretty much mention, um, you know, this is to come. This is going to happen. And, you know, cause like, you know, there's a lot of people who might talk about what's to come, what's to this. But, you know, here, here's how I look at things, okay? I always try to make, keep my mental state at, you know, be the change you want to see, okay? Because if, if, if let's say I've done some inner work or I've done some work and, you know, I, I, I see things for what they are in the state that they're in, okay? And things require a change. What am I going to do? Am I going to talk about it to everybody? Because think about this. If I only talk about it to everybody... The only thing that it's going to do is it's going to cause fear mongering. And actually what I'm doing is actually empowering the very thought of what's to come. Instead of, you see, I, I have the power to change anything I want. And how do I do this? By instead of talking about it, what I'll do is I'll talk about the change I want to see. And if it starts from you... I might talk about cleanliness of the body. I'll talk about different things. Regardless of how they work right now. You see, the way they work now is because they were designed that way by us. For example, we are not really as efficient as we should be. Okay? We require a lot of food to maintain, uh, you know, ourselves and, and to, you know, give ourselves energy and, you know, all this programming that we believe that we have to take all this protein and animal product. But in reality, it's that we're not really self-sufficient. See, the car for example, that can run on water has already been invented. And the guy who, you know, invented it uh, mysteriously died. He ran out of a restaurant saying they have poisoned me and then he dropped dead and died. But it's been invented, okay? But what happens here is, is that our body is capable of running on water, but it is not designed that way, okay? Because we, we, we uh, and it's not, listen, because I always say be your own mechanic, but actually, it's with your thought, actions, decisions, and choices you make that you design your body as is. For example, I've mentioned that when you, um, you know, the more you eat, the more you need to eat. The less you eat, the less you need to eat. 
Okay, and I've mentioned this with steroids, where if a guy takes steroids, the endocrine system shuts down, but it could go and, and it could go away, with, and it could go the other way with food. See, because when you when you um, restrict yourself or fast more often, you start activating DNA. See, DNA goes dormant the more you eat, and this is why you require so much more food. Okay, because your body is asking for more of what it. Uh, it, it's shutting down on okay for example your body is made up of over 2 million different types of protein we're eating all this protein what ends up happening now we're messing up the body's natural chemistry so there's a lot of meaning to cleanliness is next to godliness because now you'll start to not get blinded by the lights but now you're going to have clarity not only that but you're also um you know depleting the invasion of aliens that you have put in your body, which means that they're actually going to come out of the black hole that is your asshole. And now you're going to start to have a connection between your organs actually being able to, because you want to have that connection because that's why they're called organs. They play a musical frequency within each other. Okay. That's why they're all in harmony, but they're out of harmony because you notice when you take certain drugs or foods, they say, oh, no, that's bad for the liver. That's kind of hard on the kidneys. That's kind of hard on your, on your, uh, you know, your colon. Why? Why? Is it just the food or is it just the, 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 the invasion of aliens you're putting in there too? Okay. So these are, these are really important things to think about. Now, if I'm going to make YouTube channels or uh, videos, this is what I want to speak about. I'll speak about um, things that are going to empower people. All right. Things that are thinking outside the box that people don't really, uh, you know, think of. They're just thinking of what's programmed to think about. You know what I mean? For example, when, when you know, the, your attention could be on a whole breatharian topic when in reality, everybody could just be the best breatharians. When you clear out your filters, you'll notice that you're going to start to feel more alive, feel more energetic just because this is cleaned out. There's a lot of science to this and there's also a lot of spirituality to it. You got to look at it from both ends. Okay, because if you have blockages physically, it's lacking energy flowing through. You're going to have blockages spiritually as well. Okay, which is very important to really keep your mind open on that. You know, even in the winter time, if you look at the seasons, okay, look at the way they, they, they say them. All right, winter, winter in Spanish is infierno, which sounds like invierno. I mean, invierno, which sounds like infierno. So it's invierno and it sounds like infierno, which, which means hell. Okay, now if you look at the word spring. Okay, verano, and then now it's like a spring. What are you springing up from, right? And then you have the summer, but then you have the fall, right? It's not just the fall of the leaves. It's the fall of pretty much the, the, the temperament and everything. Because notice how in the springtime, you know, a man's testosterone gets better. Women start to, you know, perk up and, you know, you get to, you know, show more skin and whatnot. But the showing skin shouldn't be where, no, see, everything's so lustful and sexualized. And in reality, um, you know, we should all be walking around naked with no problem, but you know that cannot happen now because we are under a certain system of programming, okay? And um, unfortunately, that's how it works because you should be getting sunlight on your balls. Women should be getting sunlight on their breasts, okay? And, you know, for example, you should be getting even uh, sunlight under your armpits, okay? Um, all these places that you don't get no sunlight should be getting sunlight, okay? See... You shouldn't be taking showers every single day. And after you suntan, a lot of people sweat, right? And then they feel all sticky. And the first thing they do is get in the shower. When in reality, you just messed up your D3 production on your skin. Because D3 is not even a vitamin. It's actually a hormone. And it's actually, um, you know, processing on the skin. And you actually mess it up when you go under the water. But you see, one thing is to go in the water. But if you were doing it in the spring, like, you know, in, in, a, in a natural waterfall, that's different. But you're actually going into a fluoridated um, shower, which is actually destroying everything. Not only that, but a lot of people think they're very wise by saying, I'm not, you know, eating any of the, uh, you know, meats and, and I don't eat any junk food and I'm, I'm, I'm drinking distilled water. But in reality, you're still taking showers every single day. And the reason why you feel like you need a shower every single day is not just because of the sweat. It's basically because when you eat certain things, that smell of death comes out of your pores. Okay. And I've smelled it on certain people. Okay. You see a man and women, they release a certain uh, 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 hormone smell called pheromones. And this is what should be attracting each other. But the programming says you need to smell like cologne. You need to smell like, you know, like this, like that. And in reality, what's happening here is, is that you're actually blocking your pores. A lot of people put the chemicals in their neck, like the colognes. If you, if, if your skin will eat the same way you eat through your mouth. 
Okay, so if you wouldn't ingest it, why the fuck would you put it on your skin? Because if you look at it, all this, these are your, your, your lymphatic nodes over here, okay? And the lymphatic nodes under your armpit, okay? And then you have your lymphatic nodes are in your groin area, okay? And these are very important to keep in mind because when you get sick, notice that these get swollen because they trap bacteria. And you're actually directly applying the poison on it. <laughs> so... I'll tell you right now, if, if, you know, whoever watches this video and whatnot, it, you know, this is a very important message. Be the change you want to see because a lot of people empower the very things they don't want. For example, if you're under stress and you have a lot of stress with bills, you have a lot of stress with your relationships and whatnot. You're always just thinking about it and you start to talk about it. All you do is manifest more of it because you're empowering that very thought. When in reality, if you had problems in your relationship if you have problems in your finances, all you need to do is start to think about you know, what the empowering thought would be is, is you in an empowered state, most likely you wouldn't even want to think about how you get there. Just think about yourself in that empowered state already, because a lot of people try to control everything. In reality, everything would just happen if you align yourself with that very thought. But you have to also use your mind and believe it and actually use your creativity and use your imagination like a child. OK, these are the things they actually tell you to stop doing when these are the things you should be doing. OK, I'm not worried about what's to come, what's going to happen, who's doing what to who and what not. If it happens, let it be. I'm in a higher vibrational state. It ain't going to change a thing for me and it shouldn't change a thing for you. If you align yourself with those things, you're going to attract those things. And history is always rewritten. And anything that happens now from the video that you're watching right now going forward, OK, is going to happen because you empowered it so i will give you this advice okay and i'm not telling you what to do uh i use it as a guide use me as a guide um <clears throat> be the change you want to see okay if you want to see certain things happen it has to start from you okay if you want to be great if you want to be the best if you want to do anything you have to believe that in yourself but i don't need to convince anybody else of it they're going to just start seeing it in me because the more I convince people of it, the more insecure you sound and really are. So in reality, all you need to do is motivate yourself and you will motivate others. Motivate yourself and you will motivate others. Guaranteed. And not only that, but here's another big thing. Okay. If you believe that you are the best and you are. And I'm not talking about it coming from a place of pride because you see there's an emotional skill that you have to that you really have to pay attention to as well. OK, it's more of a state of neutrality, state of confidence, but also a state of self-love, unconditional love. And this is the state that from there you can manage these other vibrations to your advantage. OK, you zigzag and bounce up into whichever way you want to do. Up is down, down is up, whichever way you want to look at it. Is the chicken crossing the road or did we just build the fucking pavement, the, the pave, the pave road there and we are crossing the chicken's path? You see, we always want to think about the riddle. They tell you, why did the chicken cross the road? And then a lot of people are like, oh, to get the ball, to get to the other side. And then they're thinking about the most stupidest answers when in reality, think about it from like the most common sense. OK. Nature is normal and natural, okay? The chicken is a wild animal, was a wild animal, and the road is not. So how is the chicken crossing something when the chicken and the nature was there first? So we put the road there, and now the chicken is actually, we're in the chicken's way. So we, why did we cross the chicken's path? That's the way it should be said, okay? You know, we look at chickens, for example, chickens, 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 and people say, oh, you're a chicken shit, okay? You're, you know, stop being a chicken. But, but, well, why? Now, chickens, you see chickens complain, chickens that, but there's also wild chickens. If you could Google this, what happens? Look, look, Google this. Are there any wild chickens left? And they'll tell you, yes, but if there's any wild, and they'll put this in quotation, if there's any wild left for there to be any chickens, okay? So you think about the question, are there any chickens left in the wild? Okay, cool. Yeah, there could be chickens left in the wild, but is there any wild left for the chickens to be in? Right? So... You see how you start to change the way you see things and then you see things a little bit differently. But why is there no wild left? Because we are messing up Earth's resources, which is really you. Earth is the anagram for heart. Heart is the anagram for Earth. Whatever way you want to look at it. All right. But also don't really always think about I'm inhabiting this vessel. Maybe this vessel is inhabiting you. Okay. But where's your consciousness? That's the important thing.
Where's the consciousness at? All right. Um, look at the chicken. First of all, we talk about the government. We talk about all these people, but you see, they utilize symbols of power. Because look at the symbol of the United States of America, the American bald eagle. Do some research on the bald eagle. All right. How come you don't embody that very same energy? Instead, you're eating the chickens. <laughs> but aside from eating the chickens, you're eating domesticated chickens. You're not eating the chickens from the wild. Okay. So here's what's end up happening. And I'll make a separate video on this because this is actually pretty interesting. But let's go back to the eagle. The eagle has no known predators. Flies really, 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 really high. high higher than any bird. Okay, they have the best eyesight you could possibly think of. Okay, and here's the funny part. They can stare directly at the sun. How is this possible? How could they stare directly at the sun if they have better eyesight than we do? And we can't look directly at the sun because the sun will burn our eyes. So just think about that. Now, allergy season, and I mentioned that in this last video, right? They tell you that you can prevent allergy season by clearing your nasal cavity. They teach you how to do it with a solution of salt and water, right? That'll prevent it. But if pollen, right, was the culprit behind this, so why is it that when you clear your nasal cavities, the pollen can't affect you anymore when you're actually clearing the way now for the pollen to get in even more? Because you can, you can eat pollen. If you eat pollen, you actually build a resistance to it, and you can actually prevent allergy seasons for that. But I already mentioned that in the la in the last video. See, it's it's the filth. This your body's trying to detox. It's trying to get rid of all that. That's why when you're in the fall in hell, you come up to spring. Okay. See, you are the breath, right? So you could breathe cooler air for some reason, right? You could breathe cooler air better. But why is this? Why is this? Right? Why is it that you could breathe cooler air because it's slightly alkaline, right? Your body is slightly alkaline. It's, it's neutral, but slightly alkaline. So the breath requires slightly alkalinity, but it goes the inverted way around when you're eating, okay? When you're eating, you know why? Because if you're in a cold climate, you would need to eat more acidic food. If you're in a warmer climate, which is an acidic environment, because people think the, tro the tropics is all acidic, everything's acidic. But why is it that fruits and all that is available? Because now you're eating alkaline foods, cool foods, Uncooked, raw, life, right? Because in the spring, everything's living. So you eat life. You come into life. Why do you think animals hibernate in the wintertime? Okay? Because their metabolism actually, their metabolism, you know why? It requires a lot of energy in the wintertime to maintain warm. But in the summertime, it doesn't. You know what you do in the summertime? You just sweat. But in the wintertime, your metabolism speeds up to maintain core temperature. Because when you have a fever, it requires a lot of energy from the body, which is why you feel sick. Okay? But in the winter time, you have to generate heat. You start to shiver. That requires a lot of energy from the body. Okay. Now, those extremes should be used to your advantage. That's why there's some called hydrotherapy as well. Okay. When you when you steam when you when you breathe in the steam, you detox everything. So yeah, it's harder to breathe it because of the water molecules in there. All right. In the warmer humidity, but it is detoxing. Don't you drink water to detox? So you and you drink of the living water. So you use distilled mist. That mist, that water that's in the air that's that's all distilled water. You you breathe it in, okay. And then you can use your little, you know, your your, your aromatherapies and all that. And because all those have have their purposes too, because cold constricts, and then the the hot opens it up. Hot open is a vasodilator. The cold is a vessel constrictor. But if you are not in the condition and you're not healthy and you go out and you breathe cold air, you're going to have something called bronchial spasms. Okay? So this is very important to know. You use those extremes without complaining. You use them to your advantage. But not only that, you control all that through breath. Through breath. But what is the key to being able to breathe correctly and breathe properly? Is cleaning out your nasal cavities. We're not all designed the same either. Look at African American people, the melanated people. Their nostrils are bigger. Do you think that the cold climate ain't going to affect them a lot more than a, 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 a Caucasian person whose nose uh, nostrils are a lot narrower and they have more fat over here in their in their nasal cavity? All right. See, your body adapts to whatever environment it's in, but it's about you working with the body. Don't work against the body by suppressing it with certain shit. This is the message that I want to give on my videos is message of empowerment so that this way when you feel empowered, you can empower others. And miraculously, you're going to feel like things attract to you in your in, in your favor, a favorable way. 
But if you're going out there and fear mongering and, and, and telling people that, you know, um, they're not good enough and stuff like that, you're going to keep repeating and get back the very thought that you're empowering. Okay, I'm going to make more videos exactly on this topic of the chicken, the eagle, and I'm going to make that video next. Okay, so if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, um, and we will talk very soon.